All right, so if you've been watching the show, we had a Bob Nelson clip from a while ago doing something similar to what Key and Peele did uh, with, with the All-Star Bowl, and we thought it got such a good response that we want to start reacting to more sports comedy, right? Because sometimes comedy and sports come together. Now, it's, it's tough sometimes to make it funny, but we found a couple that we want to react to that the producers have found. We have not seen this yet, so I have not seen this, and the first one involves Nick Swartzen, so I'm shocked that I have not seen this, but we're going to play one, react, and play the other. Roll clip 11. Over their asses. Yeah, I'm out of rip his f***ing head off. <laughs> the chick threw up behind him. <laughs> what? Why would you say that? I didn't think you'd do it, man. I was just in the moment. This is truly the worst thing to happen. <laughs> yeah, I Nobody, I don't care. They're clapping. Like Nobody they're... wants to see this happen to the rival team. <laughs> hey, man, when I yelled at you, all cheered. All right, you're all guilty. You wanted this. No, you did this. Shame on you. Hey, man, he uh, run all over their asses, okay? Remember that earlier? And you cheered. Not cool. You can't die from that. That guy ripped the dude's head off. All right, Average dude. acting there. We gotta call there somebody here just yelled, rip his head off. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to happen. Come on, buddy, let's go. Uh, yeah, get that psycho out of here. Yeah, rip his head off. Who just yelled that? Stop yelling that! <laughs> All right, all right. I'm going to go seven and a half out of ten there. Mm. Pretty funny. Uh, Nick Swartzen's hilarious. Every time I see Nick Swartzen, I think about Terry from Reno 911 when he's going around on the roller skates and the Speedo. Margaritas? Yeah, he's got the margarita lotion on him, selling oranges six and stoplights. Six out of ten, huh? Six out of ten. Mm. Tough judge. Tough judge. Yeah, Blaine's a I felt like there could have been some better riding in there. But. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like where you're at. I'm seven to eight. Let's go seven and a half. Look, I'm not crying. Yeah, I'm not crying. Good concept. Like, you want over eight and a half? Like I need to be in tears, and I'm the type of person you can bring me to tears with a good bit. Oh, for I'll sure. Laugh. Nick Swartzen. Nick Swartzen's made me laugh. Oh, uh, that's good though. That's a good bit. Like we we could have done that bit and it'd be funny. I think, right, Blaine? It's mid. Huh? If we'd have done it, it's mid. If we'd have done it, it'd have been eight plus. Okay, so you like the concept execution left something uh, lacking. Yeah. For All right. Me. What do you think? Better writing. Okay. What do you think in the comments? One out of ten. What are you rating the first clip? I think the Bob Nelson one was funnier than that. Interesting. Okay, Bob, Bob Nelson did have some funny bits on there. You know, the 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 most unbelievable part of it is that a player on the Falcons could rip someone's head off. I know. Right, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's actually what, the truth. Know, that's what Falcons fans have been wanting to see. Well, people don't realize that was you right. Be careful that, saying that now. That was right. That was right before the Falcons <laughs> blew that lead to the Patriots. That was right yeah, before that. It's one of the reasons their guard got his head ripped off. Oh man, tough story. You can look it up. Google it. It's a real story. All right, we have a second clip here from a comedian named Godfrey. Now, when I thought Godfrey, I thought that guy that talks like this, yeah. but apparently that's Gilbert Godfrey, Yeah. right? Holy f is this wrong? All right, so let's go ahead and roll this second clip from a guy, na a comedian named Godfrey. Let's see how he does. Love Alabama football, okay? Love Bad start. Alabama football. It don't matter if you boo it, don't matter. They're just good players. You must be from a loser school. They were the last to have black players, Alabama football. And Bear Bryant at the time, he was a coach for Alabama, and they were like, well, I think we need colored players. And the, and the alumni was like, we don't want no goddamn colored players, you damn man, man. No colored players, goddamn. You better not hear no honey, 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 honey. I'm sure you know what they were saying, right? <laughs> and then, one day, Alabama was playing a team with colored players. And this is what they saw. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? That was one of them colored players, coach. He's like, yo, let me get the phone. Yeah, we need some colored players. <laughs> Why? Because to catch the other colored players. <laughs> oh, the white guys just went by. Holy <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying, we dominate the sports and shit. Anytime we get interested in sports, we're taking it from you. We're taking it from you. Golf, took it from you. Tennis, took it from you. All that shit. We just got to get interested. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have X Games, mother 
Because you were tired of black dudes taking all your shit. And you were like, dude, we got to find some shit that these black dudes won't touch. How about we jump out of a helicopter on a bike into a garbage can? How about that? <laughs> They'll never do it. They'll just never do it. I know it. Man, I, I, kind of, I like the concept where, the, the part where, uh, you know, he calls to get the other black players is funny. I just, I don't know. I feel like, uh, I feel like that could have been funnier. I feel like the concept of it was funny, but I feel like I'd go, I'd go four and a half out of 10. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing funny about it. It's not, I didn't, I'm not laughing at all about it, but uh, he is right about the situation at Alabama with Bear Bryant. The player he's talking about, actually, Kentucky, I believe right? I believe it was Southern California, Bam Bam Cunningham. Now, you can go fact check me on this. I think it was Bam Bam Cunningham in, in Southern California, came to Alabama, blew out the Crimson Tide, and there was a statement made that said Bam Bam Cunningham did more in 60 minutes to integrate the yeah. American South than any civil rights leader had done up until that point. And Bear Bryant, was, Bear Bryant wanted to have more black players on his team, and he said, he was essentially that he was asked about it and he said well i'm not going to be the first to have um black players on my team but i'm not going to be the third either as soon as this opens up we want to recruit black players to play for alabama mm -hmm. so what he's saying is 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 factual the whole part about black people can just be better at sports than y'all is like as soon as we get interesting i mean it's like look i mean black players have contributed a lot to sports mm -hmm. you know for for a long time now and i think that's one of the positive attributes of, about america but then i don't want to hear complaints about racism uh, about quota systems yeah. when it comes to coaching and <laughs> yeah. things like that so you can't get special treatment in one one aspect of society but then say but we're we dominate another aspect of society and now we want a meritocracy well that's why right? I, like, that's, that's why i always find it interesting when they claim that the NFL is racist because of hiring coaches, yet the people who get paid the most are the players and it's 75% black. So if I use that logic, then the NFL is racist toward Hispanics, whites, the Jewish community. How about this leaflet, famous Jewish sports legends? Asians, everybody else, because there's 75% one race on the field. That's stat, that's facts. I just, I look, comedy's supposed to be fun funny, yeah. right? I, I'm not one of these people that wants to ca cancel guys that that talk about controversial things on on a comedy show like i go to a comedy show that stuff is funny i think that's a place to air it out i think in society we've gotten so far off that now everything everybody gets so offended by everything it's dipped its hand in a comedy now we're kind of coming out of it a little bit with dave Chappelle and louis ck and some of the things like that but but i will never say it's not funny because i thought you were too controversial but i'm with you if on one hand you go out, and I'm talking about the individual, think that's funny and make jokes like that. On the other hand, you cannot come back and cry racism when the woke, when the mob wants to come out and scream racism and all that stuff. I just I'm with you. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, I'm not gonna take this so literal. One is comedian, and once we start censoring comedians, we're gonna be in a bad place. Yeah. Well, we already I'll, we've already started. I always believe that, but it just wasn't funny to me. Yeah. You know, it just wasn't funny. Really, didn't make me laugh. I get the concept of it. It could be a good good concept. I just felt like it, it left me a little bit wanting something. Mm -hmm. Funny, so get a little bit better writing, and then we'll see. But eh, I give it a three out of ten. What are you going with, David? Out of ten, a one, a one, a one. Yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell no, us. Just, I, again, I think he's he's making some important points. I'd like to sit down and talk with him about it. Doesn't make it funny, like you said, Louis C.K. You give Vince Vaughn that same material, or Louis C.K. or Dave Chappelle. Bill Burr. I'm probably yeah. crying laughing for sure. Right? It's all about delivery because it, they're funny. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all about funny. delivery. That's yeah. exactly right. It's like pizza. Uh, unless you're DiGiorno. But tell us, out of 10, what do you rate the second clip? We had the first one, now the second one. Let us know. We're going to react to way more. We really appreciate the response. Make sure you subscribe. We're live every weekday morning, 7.30 to 9 Eastern, 6.30 to 8 Central. Come check us out.